All right, Todd. Um, Skip and Shannon reflect on uh, LeBron's 10-year anniversary um, of the decision. This is on Undisputed, so of course it's Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. Uh, I think Molly Carroll. Uh, no, not Molly Carroll. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, I forgot the lady name. But it has been nearly 10 years since LeBron went on national television to declare which team he would be signing with. The infamous decision received a share of criticism after LeBron announced he'd be taking his talents to South Beach to play. Yeah, to, he, didn't tell, he didn't tell the owner. Or nobody um and he did it on national tv but it did go into a good cause but i don't know i don't agree with the way we did it but i'm a LeBron fan so whatever for the key and would be leaving his hometown cab so shannon do you have a problem with the decision and how it all went down nope do not have a decision with it skip bayless mm -hmm. uh <laughs> Shannon Sharp is so funny. When I look at it, Skip, and I, I get some of the anger for the, the Cleveland fans, is because, Skip, our hometown guy is leaving us. Us. Left. Gone. We're not going to be the same because we... There's a reason why we're in position to get him, Skip. We no. weren't very good. Mm -hmm. So if he leaves, they weren't very good. What? They get two first number one overall picks after LeBron left, and they've been in position to get several more since he's been gone again. Mm -hmm. Skip, I, I think what happened is that when LeBron did what he did, LeBron's like, okay, the decision's going to happen. And what happened was, Skip, from the time LeBron uh, uh, lost, to, I think, to Boston, until he made that decision, it was like two, two, almost two months. Skip, you're old enough to remember Jenny, Jenny before Jenny. Jenny don't remember this. Mm -hmm. But you remember Skip Dallas, who shot JR? Now, you remember back then, you, you had to wait all the way to the fall, and they build that thing up. Who, they kept right on who shot JR. Was it Sue Ellen? Was it Bobby? Was it this one? It build that suspense. In television, we call that teasing. Mm -hmm. So LeBron was teasing. Oh, well, who is it, LeBron? He didn't do, do no talking during the season. He didn't let anybody. He didn't let anybody know that whole 2010 season. No. He, suitors, come see me. Miami, Brooklyn, Nick, uh, uh, Knicks, uh, Chicago, and, of course, you know, Cleveland. Yep, those five teams. And so everybody was on the edge of the seat. He's like, well, hold on. If ESPN is going to put this on their air, and they're going to make some money, I should at least get something out of the deal. Maybe I'll raise some money for charity. People don't want to talk about that, but that's what he did. Raise money for a very worthy cause. Boys and girls. But he has. Skip, for me, I don't have a problem. Skip, it wasn't like he, he didn't own the network now. It was like if, if he was Oprah, and Oprah puts it on her own network, that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. But someone came to him and said, like, do you mind? And LeBron is 25 years of age, and I understand being out grow. But LeBron had never been in this situation before because yeah, now he's... He got drafted right to Cleveland and played seven years. Never got a chance to be a free agent. And he was young, man, out of high school. You know, he's got the... the everybody's watching. But from that moment on, LeBron realized, and it's the thing that we say about power, people don't realize how much power they have. Hmm. Mm. whoa. Yo, y'all hanging on every word I say. Ten million live. Nobody can do that. Did you know the last dance on the average about five point six? Ten million viewers. Yeah. And when he made that decision, it peaked. You can't compare that to. You can't compare LeBron making a decision in his prime, uh, currently to, um, the last dance, which is like Jordan retired over twenty years ago. It's just like the rate is gonna be a little down. You know what I'm saying? But. Plus, uh, it's 10 episodes versus one. That's not a fair comparison, Shannon. Kendo Apex. Still, by far, the most watched studio show in the history of ESPN. That means non-game. Still the highest. Thirteen by far. Point one. Yep. That was the paradigm shift that gave the athletes the power that we see in the NBA today. Yeah, facts, man. Without that, uh, the rap, the rap wouldn't be able to make that move to the Warriors without, you know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron already did it, and, um... I know they did the Pierce, KG, and Allen thing. That was a trade. Um, KG got traded, and then Ray Allen signed there. Plus, Ray Allen was uh, not a super superstar like that. But I don't know Ray Allen, but I'm just saying, he's a shooter. And I think what hurt LeBron, look, he understands the fans being upset because he was leaving, leaving Cleveland. That hurt him, Skip, because you're burning his jersey, you're calling all out of his name, and then the owner, your value has doubled in your franchise. And this is what you think of me? Had a little racial True. undertone to it. Well, there ain't no undertone. That was overtures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was no undertone. That was overtures. Uh, and so that was the moment that LeBron James realized, man, I got power. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that's the mistake that people make. They don't realize how much power they have. They, when they don't think they have any, 
that's when you give up your power. And LeBron didn't know he had this kind of power. And then once he saw that, it's over. That's why the that's why a lot of these execs, a lot of people, I think what hurt LeBron more than anything, it was the former guys that played that was so so hard on him. Yeah, the Barclays, the Jordan, I think Drexler, a lot of guys is hard on LeBron. Because we'd never seen this before, Skip. Matt, uh, uh, Michael came back with the facts. I'm back. That's all he said. Bird, Magic, never had it. When they resized, Skip, they never did anything like this. And so the old guards, Skip, they have a way of doing things, and they want you to toe that line. Mm-hmm. And LeBron says, nah, I'm stepping out of that line. And so for me, Skip, I didn't have a... He didn't did pay the way, man. Man, the trade. He played the contract out. He fulfilled his obligation in Cleveland. Fulfilled it in Miami. Went back to Cleveland. Fulfilled it. Mm-hmm. Now, let the man live his life. Mm-hmm. Everybody... I mean, people leave jobs all the time. Just imagine, Skip, you leave a job and, you, and your team and, you, and your, your co-workers. So people standing outside calling you all kind of names. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what happened with little Goat James. Mm. All right, Skip turn now. Goat. Don't go, James. Phony goat. No, stop saying that. Okay. <clears throat> I have the same opinion of the decision now that I had the day after <laughs> on ESPN on first take on July, it would have been the 9th of mm-hmm. 2010, right. 10 years ago, almost, I had the same opinion. I actually loved it. It was great theater. Mm-hmm. I didn't mind it for my network, giving up its airtime, giving a whole hour to LeBron James. He was that big of deal yeah. because he was such a huge free agent acquisition. We had been going on for two months on ESPN. All we ever talked about was speculating. Is it Miami? Is it staying in Cleveland? Is it Chicago? Is it right. an X-Factor team that we're not seeing? And he was the biggest friend in what since Shaq. We yeah. hadn't seen anything like no. that, Skip. Mm-mm. And it had dragged on, to your point, for <laughs> yeah, we have it. two long months. And I was ready for a big theatrical crescendo. So I had no problem with the, the choice to do the decision right. on live national TV. Yeah, I didn't either. But I had a big problem with how LeBron executed it. And it was interesting. I watched the special last night mm-hmm. on it on ESPN by Don Van Atta, who did a very good job on this. He pointed out that Commissioner Stern went to John Skipper, a friend of mine who was then running ESPN, mm-hmm. and, and just campaigned, no, 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 no. It's going to make LeBron look bad. Well, I, I didn't, I couldn't figure out why it, it would make him look bad unless he made himself look bad right. on the special, so or on the, the decision. But Don Van Atta reported that LeBron was urged before to thank the fans of Cleveland and that LeBron did not prepare for this. He, he, yeah, I can tell he wasn't really prepared. Um, yeah, he wasn't really prepared. Did no, usually LeBron is I like... I get it, he's 25 years old, he was nervous, man. It's like, like, damn, I'm making a decision that people are going to hate me. You know, it's, it's a decision that he did what's best for him. A PR whiz, mm-hmm. like, he's all over it. He's thought of every nook and cranny of it could mm-hmm. go here, so I got to go there, this, that. Be ready for it and, and have have a speech ready right. that, that you can do off the cuff like he did on Kobe night mm-hmm. that Friday night right. when we were at the Super Bowl. Right. He was brilliant, but, but he'd obviously thought it through. He had a plan in his head, and then he just let his heart take over. Correct. Could have done the same thing here. So did he thank the fans of Cleveland? He did not. So after seven years, he owed them, and I'll just off the top of my head, I was blessed to be able to start my career and play seven years in my home area. Yeah, he was, though. It's like Cleveland, LeBron gave us some great years in Cleveland, man. I loved, I missed those days. Um, the 48 special against the uh, Pistons in, uh, what was that, 06? And then um, 07, he'll make, take him to the finals. I think that might have been 07. Uh, I forgot when the 48 special was. I think it might have been 07, but um, the battles of Wade, the, um, LeBron score. I think LeBron had 47, Wade had 44 that one game. And the 55 points against the Bucks when um, they was going crazy. I think it was Paul Silas and somebody else calling the game. They went crazy. LeBron was heating up. And then, um, what else? LeBron, um, I don't know the, the struggles, too, like against Boston. It just, you just seen his growth, man. In Akron slash Cleveland. And I love the fans of Cleveland and, and that, whatever they call Northeast Ohio. Mm-hmm. I, I love them, and they will always hold a huge place in my heart. Right. But... I now have an opportunity to play alongside 
one of my best friends in the world, if not my best friend, in Dwayne Wade. Correct. Yeah, and, one, and a third best player in the league at that time. And it's an opportunity I'm going to take because it's not going to come along again anytime soon. Right, it wasn't, though. And obviously he would know Dwayne was a little ahead of him in years. So I need to maximize my chances to play with Dwayne. If LeBron had sold it that way, which I, I think was from his heart, then I think it would have been so much more palatable for the fans in Cleveland. Instead, he showed no gratitude for them having his back all those years. Mm -hmm. They had not won a championship. He was regarded as the best player in basketball, but they got to one finals and they got swept by the Spurs. Right. So he, he needed to be much more gracious to the fans. Yeah, I, think, I agree. I'm going to cut it short. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I see what he said about Wade. Uh, if he would have signed a four-year deal, then Wade would have been, I don't know how old Wade would have been, but I just saying Wade probably would have been on the, like over 30 by then, and he tried to sign. You see how Wade kind of tailed off quick, you know? Um, part of it's being athletic and then the injuries and stuff, and then being a smaller guy, but yeah. But that's it, man. The, uh, LeBron's decision, man, that was legendary.